This is Frack Daddy Barbecue here in Midland, Texas at the Midland Meat Company. We're going to go inside and we're going to take you on a tour of this awesome meat market. So let's go inside and show you around. First thing that caught my eye was all this awesome Midland Meat Company swag. While you're in there, they even have organic vegetables. Oh yeah, and look at over there. They have Midland Meat Company jerky. And you also know I had to check out their great spices they have in store. Okay guys, so for all you competition cooks out there, the proof is in the pudding. These guys are winning trophies with their meat. So as you see right here, Houston Lifestyle Rodeo Show, that's a big one. And right here, 2018, first place brisket. Another Houston Livestock, back to back, right there. And as you can see, the first place trophies continue to keep growing. So what does make their meat so special? What sticks out most to me about this meat market is the fact that they raise their own cattle. This has been a family owned business that started in 1887 and continues to thrive today. To find out more about the history, go to their website. I will add a link in the description. Since they raise their own cattle, the quality of the beef truly speaks for itself. All of their beef is considered a Wagyu and the marbling is like a Picasso painting to a foodie like me. Now let me show you a few things that stood out to me. Alright y'all, so I found this brisket in here. It's a Wagyu hybrid. So it's $11.99 a pound. So this bad boy is 19 pounds, $239. But look at the quality of this brisket. We got fat all running through this. I tell you what, this would be an excellent brisket if you're doing barbecue competitions or if you just want to impress your family at home with some really great beef. So, if I had the money right now and Melissa wouldn't kill me for it, we'd be taking this home for us and smoking it. Alright guys, so, y'all see me do a tri-tip video. It was an okay tri-tip, but look at this tri-tip. I've not seen marbling in a tri-tip this beautiful. This would be great grilled up, nice medium rare, salt and pepper. That's all you really need on this one. Man, these guys got some awesome quality beef. Let's keep looking. Ever since I discovered the quality of beef that Midland Meat Company has to offer, I knew I needed to reach out to the owner, John, to showcase this place. It really is a rare gem that everybody needs to go check out. So if you're going to have family over on a Sunday dinner, why not come over here and get a chuck roast? Put this in the crock pot, slow cook it all day. I'll tell you what, it'd be one hell of a good pot roast with some mashed potatoes. They would love you for that. All right, guys, so from what the butcher told us, everything in here except chicken is a Wagyu cross. Like I showed you the tri-tip. We got boneless short ribs. Look at the marbling in that. You know, we got Texas strip right there beautiful hamburger meat and look at that all natural wagyu hot dogs that shit looks killer all right y'all so we can't forget about the pork too so they have bacon pork chops and they also can, they also have this cream cheese stuffed pork tenderloin with texas oil rub on it so this looks killer they also have ribs they have pork belly they have anything you can honestly think of So, let's go check out their freezer room. Okay guys, so we're over here in their exotic meat department. So, first off, we have sirloin alligator meat. I bet this would be good deep fried. Maybe Melissa will let me get some. And then, we have some all natural ground elk. If y'all never had elk meat, I tell you what, it will change your life. I grew up eating elk meat back in New Mexico when my friends would go hunting and kill an elk. Very good. Quell poppers. 
If you're not a hunter, but you like quail, you can come and get some quail poppers too. I bet these are really good. Here they have some smoked alligator sausage. Man, everything you can think of, they have it here in this department. So if you like Cajun food, like Melissa and I do, they have shrimp boudin. Well, she can't eat this. She's allergic, but they have original boudin. What makes this great? You don't have to drive all the way to Louisiana to get your boudin fix. All right, so here we have some steaks. Here is a tier one beef ribeye steak. I'm not sure what tier one means, but I'm sure it's the way that they uh, grate their meat. And then here we have a tier, tier, tier two Texas strip which to me just looks like another ribeye, which looks very good. All right, guys, look at the marbling in these beautiful steaks. All right, guys, so I found this elk ribs. These are so freaking good. To me, it looks like an elk prime rib. These would be killers. Slow smoked with some post oak or some pecan. You gotta come try this stuff, I'm telling you. So I also found venison and wild boar smoked sausage. I'll tell you what, this place has everything you can think of. Man, I wish we lived here. Okay, so if you like beef jerky, here they have a mango habanero a black cherry beef jerky, sweet and spicy, salt and pepper, red chili beef jerky, and they even have a cowboy style beef jerky. Man, these, oh wait, you can't forget you mesquite lovers, here they have mesquite flavored beef jerky too. All right y'all, so they even have cheese so you can make your stuffed jalapeno poppers and they also carry coffee. So let's go take a look at their coffee next. So if you don't like meat, cheese, spices it has something for everybody coffee whole bean coffee from i can't pronounce that but it looks really good yeah called lift ticket so it sounds like you're gonna go skiing or you'll get a lift off of this caffeine Okay guys, so here we are with the general manager, Adrian, of Middle and Meat Company, and he's going to show us some of his meats that he beautifully displayed for us in his case. Alright, and first of all, like we've got this uh, top sirloin steak, it is uh, located in the, uh, in the hind quarter of, of our animals, and as you can see the marbling on there, uh, it, it is uh, marbled quite a bit more than what you would get like in a USDA select or USDA choice or even prime. Uh, this top sirloin steaks on, on our Wagyu Cross from Scarborough Ranch Beef. Uh, as far as the tenderness and the taste, it's going to be so much better uh, compared to even a filet or a ribeye that you would get from a normal big box store. And, and what you got there in, 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 on that shot, we've got our, that is our tri-tip. Uh, that is located again on the hind quarter of the animal. Uh, numerous ways that you can kind of uh, uh, cook this uh, particular type of meat. Uh, the absolute uh, most popular in the state of Texas, especially in West Texas, it is uh, to have it smoked. Uh, another uh, another way to cook this guy and that is becoming a little bit more popular as we speak is a uh, sous vide. That's where you actually uh, pop it in a uh, in a cryovac bag with with herbs and whatever you want to season it with, and actually boil it up to a temperature because it is. It is, um, as you can see in the, in, the, in the shot there, it does have uh, different uh, thicknesses and different uh, contours. Uh, it is an oddly shaped piece, so doing it in sous vide is gonna get you the absolute best results. Our, our, our fillet, is that, that right there is, is the, uh, on the hind quarter of the animal, uh, one, of the one of the most popular cuts in our store. We, we carry it every day. 90% uh, of the time we are just we're cutting them fresh to order oh wow take a look at those guys there that my friend that is a tomahawk right there and right above it we've got uh, some cowboy cut ribeyes uh, those guys there 
Uh, I mean, you're talking about just nothing but goodness. Uh, reverse searing is probably the absolute easiest way to cook those guys because they're so thick. Uh, smoking them as well. But as you can see, the beautiful marbling that, that comes from this Scarborough Ranch beef uh, doesn't get better than that, folks. Those right there, those are ribeye caps. What we call them in store is just natural goodness. That's uh, quickly becoming one of the most popular cuts in our store. Um, you can call it ribeye cap, call it the spinalis, uh, whichever whichever way you go. On those guys right there, I, I would say it's uh, 10 times better, uh, more tender and tasty than you, even our, our, our fillets. So let me ask you. Can you see yourself grilling any of these? Okay guys, so now that we got our goodies, we're gonna head on home. So once we get home, we're gonna show you what we got here at the Midland Meat Company. So, I'm gonna also tell you this. The people that work here are beyond friendly. They treat you with so much respect and like family when you walk in the door like you've known them forever. So if you're in the Midland area, please stop by Midland Meat Company and tell them Frack Daddy Barbecue sent you. Okay, so we just got home. What a long drive that has been. So we picked up a beautiful tri-tip that we're gonna cook up tonight with salt and pepper only do a reverse sear. Picked up also some awesome, awesome hamburger meat. Also picked up some great pre-made hamburger patties. Got us a nice tier one ribeye steak. Also got a tier one Texas strip. Look at the marbling. Got another ribeye. Got us another Texas strip. Now, also picked up these beautiful plate ribs. There's only two of them, because there's only two of us. I cannot wait to cook these up. Look at this marbling on these beef ribs. I've not seen marbling like that in any beef rib I've ever seen. So, if y'all like what y'all see from Midland Meat Company, please like, subscribe, put a comment down in the video, see what you'd like me to cook. And also, go check out Midland Meat Company at their website and give them some love too. Peace out. If you like what you saw in this video, you can either come to their store or they even ship it to your house. You can get this shipped right to your house from the Midland Meat Company. You know what else is cool about Midland Meat Company? They have a drive through So, if you're in a hurry, you want some steaks, they're busy inside, you just zip around in your vehicle, come to the drive through and they'll help you at a drive through window. That is freaking awesome. Look at that. I've never seen a meat market with a drive through So, I tell you what, Midland Meat Company, you get two thumbs up from Frack Daddy Barbecue.